what's up guys welcome back to another video damn these damn shoelaces I should really position should really position the camera differently but uh, for now I'm not gonna mess with the, uh, the stand we'll leave it at that um, we got an exciting video this week uh, I guess you could call it exciting uh, we're gonna be picking up the ogle right now and we're gonna be getting ready to do an install we're going to, well, before I get to what we're going to be installing, I got a shout out Sing Built uh, for hooking us up uh, with today's install. Um, Energy EP3 RSX harness bar. Yeah, sorry, I had a brain fart right there. Uh, Energy EP3 RSX harness bar. As you guys know, I have an Energy harness bar in the Spoonie S1, but it was for an EK and I had to modify it to make it fit. And apparently these EP3 RSX ones is a direct bolt up. So, RG, it's a harness bar for the Mugen EL. Uh, big thanks to him. I, I greatly appreciate it. Hold on. Got a Explorer coming at me really quick. All right, so yeah, big shout out to Sing Belt. We're gonna be picking up Diogo, we're gonna head up to his unit. Uh, we're gonna install it. It's not a very uh, difficult install. Uh, like I said, the spooniest one, we had to modify it, we had to cut it, shorten it, re-weld it. Then we had to change the bars that go down because um, the, the little knob to turn uh, the recline, the, the Recaros. So with the fixed energy bucket seat, we're not gonna have that issue as it's side mounted and everything so it's gonna look good uh, Ashley already has her choice of uh, color harnesses she wants to do so uh, maybe at some point this week I'll go pick up a set of harnesses from the, the plug garage 16 and yeah guys I hope you guys are ready for uh, the case swap I know I've been seeing it every week we're getting closer and closer and closer uh, now it's like really really close we're gonna start going hard on the uh, some of the K-series stuff, the engine stuff, getting that all ready, cleaned up, painted, refreshed, and then the car's gonna go in very, very shortly and not gonna turn back. I'm excited for this auto K-swap. I got a video I'm gonna be doing later on tonight for the following week, or maybe even drop two videos this week, who knows? But it's big news on the auto K-swap and uh, important information, of course. But I feel like uh, I've talked long enough and this intro is way overdue. So, let's end it. All right, we're gonna get our man some coffee right now. We're gonna get uh, a nice, nice, nice coffee for uh, Diogo. You know, that man likes a triple, triple. He likes that sugar, he likes that cream. Pause on that cream. And uh, you know me, I always get the regular, you know, just a regular guy. We're going to be getting some coffees. And then we're going to be picking up Diogo. He's probably still sitting on the toilet, probably watching uh, some YouTube videos. For sure. That, that's like his thing. And then I'm going to be messaging him, I'm like, yo, I'm outside. And he's going to be like, oh shit. He's probably going to come out with like some toilet paper hanging out of his butt. True story. It's happened before. All right, can I get a medium regular and a medium triple triple? Uh, that's everything. Uh, can you make the regular with milk? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's everything. That's Jesus, almost forgot uh, to get my own order right. Yo. Yo. What are you doing? I'm in bed. You're in bed? You sure you're not sitting on the toilet watching videos? No, I'm in bed with my dog on top. You. Right on, right on. No, I'm outside, bro. Are you? Yeah, man. Yeah, but you said I'll come out with Yeah. I'm sure you will. We know you're on the we know you're on the toilet, bro. No, I mean I know you're ready. Alright, alright. Yeah, bro. Okay. Okay, man. One second. That is a 
sick Mercedes. Holy shit. Huh? Nothing, nothing. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. <laughs> that is a clean ass Mercedes. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I'll be able to make the left in time to get you guys a view. Wow. Beautiful car. I'm not a big German car enthusiast, but man, that was a nice Mercedes. Now we're just gonna wait on Diogo to show up, and uh, we'll roll. Damn, gotta stop zooming into my big head. What's up? What's up, man? <laughs> you okay. Oh, I'm 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 perfect. Me too. Okay, time to check more. We gotta watch the swearing now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But luckily, that was you were swearing under your voice. True. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's, didn't get it. Did you feel that wind? Like it almost lifted the back end of the car. I know. That was great. Does it? Yeah. I just felt the back angle. Like this. It was nice. But the wing is supposed to be putting a down force. You're going to have to hold this. Hold the stick? Yeah. Okay, pause on the stick. So, you ready for this to stop? We're going to do this crazy moment. Yo, you know you're going to have to show the Jetta now. Yeah, one second. Huh? I'm just put my seatbelt for safety, man. I saw last night was beautiful. It's no longer a daily. It's no longer a car to get the feel of the track anymore. Yeah, it is. No, you went a little. You went overboard on the car now. No, I didn't. You guys are gonna decide in the comments below if you went overboard when you when we I get to the. I definitely did not go overboard. You went overboard. Not yet, dude. You went overboard. But, uh, yeah. Just a little bit. We're gonna cut this clip here. We're gonna drink our coffee, head to the unit, and get started on uh, this nice install. So that way, this week, I can go buy the harnesses for Ashley's car. And, uh... What color do you buy? I'm not gonna give everything away in one video. Yeah, you're gonna tell me. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> You're just not gonna give it away. I'm not just gonna give it away. Okay. It's gonna look nice. Wow, look at that RSX. Do you see that? I can't see it. I got a TSX. It's a black one. Do you see that? I'm gonna see a black TSX. Probably. It's a Type S too. Is it a Type S? A Type S. Oh, nice. Marky. Probably full bolt on too. Quick overs. Nice. Brakes. Ready for the track. Ready for the track. Wow. Or the runs. Or the on ramps. It was this thing on that one on This thing is ready for the on ramps now with these crazy sway bars. Right? This thing. And we're still on the blown suspension. So this is what he's been working on, on his old daily Mark IV, which he no longer plans on dailying anymore. And he's gonna give it a nice little fire up for us.
not even the, the heavy duty one that's getting built. No. But it's coming off fantastic. Yeah, it really needs a tune though. Definitely does need a tune. You can see how rich it's running. Yeah, it's very, very no, it almost sounds like it's camped. Almost. It will be. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of Diogo's Mark IV that's ready to hit on some time attack stuff. Oh, don't worry, bro. I know that's why I'm facing the camera this way. Can't show the goods yet. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, things super sick, man. I can't wait for him to uh, actually take it to the track this season. It's going to be fire. It's going to be nice. Man. I feel like if you were sneaking around, like like breaking into the house, it would be the worst. It would be the worst, bro. I don't care. Why, why is that? Because you make so much background noise. I love it. That's okay. all right so yeah we're gonna have our coffee we're gonna pull out pause on the pull out uh this i was gonna say suffering brace jesus christ the harness bar and then uh we're gonna tackle it yeah let me just put so that. big shout out to sing built for hooking us up with this ep3 rsx energy harness bar that we're gonna be installing on the mugen l it they all come in gunmetal i think they come in another color i'm not too sure uh basically that's gonna bolt up to the bottom where the seatbelt is. And that's gonna bolt up to the top of where the seatbelt is. It's pretty simple, hypothetically. And then these allow you to adjust the, the height. But I think we should be good for there. We're gonna separate these right now. So that way we can put the main bar on first and then work our way down. What do you think, D? Yeah. Save the nuts. Save the nuts. Diogo, you know how excited I am for our, our project that we're doing? Are you very excited? I'm super excited. I'm more excited to, to show everybody when we're all said and done mm -hmm. and to help everybody. That's in our circle. And then to supply something fantastic. Something great. Something great. Something this guy's gonna be a legend. <laughs> guys, just remember the story I told you guys on drive through bro. And when you remember when you see him when he's in legend status, just remember that little bit of toilet paper that I told you about. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna fucking see you. Oh, sorry. I wanna see what you've been saying. Oh buddy, I, really, I swear I to god, really you're gonna message me and you're gonna be like, bro, I'm what the hell? Here, and then you're gonna be like, that was the funniest shit ever, bro. <laughs> Okay. All right, so uh, I'm gonna open this door. Pause. Oh man, uh, horns are going off. So we gotta take this out right here. You gotta nope. take these these covers. Yeah, let me get that right there. Those covers. Yeah. How does it come off? Uh, that's a good question. Now. I remember. Let's do research. That's how they come out. That's your research right there. And then we gotta do the same over here. I think I gotta squeeze it and pull. Yeah. There you do it, cause I, it's one one hand is a. Uh, oh yeah. It's just like little two clips. Yeah. Press these in and pull up. That's it. That's it. Pause on the pull out. Actually, don't pause on the pull out. Pull out. Always pull out. Always pull out. Always pull out. Yo, are we gonna have a pause battle again? Yes. Yes. That should be a fourteen, I think. But yo, how dope are these Prisma seats? Shout awesome. out to Energy for making one of the dopest buckets in a long time. Honda and their 14s. Honda and our 14s. We have an automatic drill, but Diogo's manually <laughs> taking it. Yeah, but <laughs> the strength of this is only so much. And it's only after well, it's a little bit loose. If it's tight, it doesn't go. Okay. You know you gotta pause on that tight. If it's the fuel one, it's powerful enough, but it also breaks everything. Yeah. So. Oh, buddy, did you see that come out? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Mercer with the anti-seize. Look at that. 
I swear that man anti sees everything. Everything, bro. Anti sees the world. Look at that. Look at that. Work that, baby. Work that. Who needs a gym, bro? Who needs a gym, bro? Not this guy. Ah, Not this guy. I do need a gym for the amount yo, of hamburgers I'm that, eating during this quarantine. I need a gym. <laughs> that satisfying feeling when that nut comes out. We may or may not have a fail in our hands right now. Right now, we got it so much, the top one, we got that bolted up. It wasn't easy, guys. It wasn't easy. Like, look at Diogo. He's struggling. He's gasping for air because of all the cheeseburgers he's eating. Uh, I had to pull off the hat. I had to pull off the hat because the cranium kept hitting everything. So now we got to try the bottom rods, make sure that's good. If it's not good, then I got to return it to Singbilt and be like, yo, it doesn't work. But it's looking good, it's looking good. We might have to MacGyver some stuff, but uh... Hold my rod. <sighs> Buddy, that was a workout, eh? That was a workout. My goodness. So we're gonna do the bottom rods, pause, and uh... Buddy. Disgusting. Dude, my arms are killing from forcing that in. So there's a oh, slight there. difference between obviously the sedan scoops and uh, EP3 and RSX. There is. Like this much, like literally this much, where it on a sedan it requires this much more force. Yeah, well, if they have if somebody has to pull it in, pull one of those in, just do what we didn't do because it kind of helped a little bit put the the thing all the way down. Like the, yeah, we started it off wrong. The adjustability of the of the seatbelt. Yeah, but even though we started wrong, it's still very very tight. Like yeah. It's like super tight. Yeah, it's very So Diogo's just tackling the bottom bolt right now. Uh, guys, be wary uh, that our factory bolts aren't that, that long. So you're only going to catch a handful of threads at the bottom. Uh, that's why if you guys go with a block setup, it comes with longer bolts that meet uh, the same uh, pitch thread, I believe it's called. Yeah. And um, yeah. I believe you can order the blocks bolts. Uh, I, I gotta get back to you guys uh, at a later date. I'll probably even pin it on the comments if I'm able to get the blocks bolts to replace the factory bolts. But yeah, we're gonna just measure, uh, test out the rod, make sure the measurement's good, see if we have to adjust or not, and if everything lines up. Like I said, with the uh, spooniest one, the adjustment for the seat, uh, for the recliner. How are we looking, bro? It's uh, smaller than one, so. Dude, you just full out mumbled that. What? You just full out mumbled that. <laughs> uh, so we just gotta extend another touch. Uh, just gotta see if this bolt's long enough. Yeah, like I said, it catches a, a couple threads. Very small. Very small amount of threads, I know. Like two or three. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're gonna run the harnesses, and I'm gonna see if blocks can hook us up with the. Uh, the bolts that we need. Yep. All right, so Diogo has made his adjustments and he made something work down there, down there, right between them. Not right between there, but right between there. <laughs> yeah, I, I so, just deleted these two. So um, once we get to the other side, we're gonna show you exactly, but these yeah. things are on the bottom bolt, right? And they're, they're secured by this, I believe it was like a rubber, uh, rubber lock kind of thing plastic lock yeah it's like a little little clip yeah like to hold the threads to hold all those washers in place so what you do is you pop that little thing out uh, that little clip and you're able to take out some of the spacers which in turn gives you more threads so now you're safely secured one of these yes you take one of these out oh right there come on focus anyways you guys can see it's supposed to be connected bro. yeah it's supposed to be that just holds all the washers in place because they're pretty much loose. They're just like spacers. Yeah, it's spacers. And now we got more threads. So now it's bolted up safely. So disregard the whole contact blocks thing. You don't need it. I'll probably not, I don't even know why I mentioned it. I'm probably going to edit and omit that shit out. So we're going to replicate in turn what Diogo just did over there. And then we're going to bolt up everything nice, nice. But as you guys can see, it does line up. 
it is more of a pain to Sweet. install because you know you need two guys for sure you definitely need two guys some muscle and to no definitely difference. adjust this because we are you know i thought i thought when you were gonna get this thing i thought you were gonna get those universal ones that have the the same style thing right okay here. They have it here or here in the middle. Or something. Oh, and it like and you, you can, can adjust like, the. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So you adjust the width of it. Yeah. So it goes from forty nine inches to fifty one inches. Damn, bro. So whatever type of car you have, yeah, it works. But all in all, it looks really good. Thank you, uh, Singbuilt, for supplying this. Milwaukee for the win. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna show you exactly what Diogo did. So I take this thing off. It comes like there to lock all this. I took one off, two off. I threw this one out. I threw this one out. I put the bigger one, because it's a little bigger. I put the bigger one there to put it in between these little things. This heim joint, whatever it's called. Put it another one here, and I literally just put it back. Because here, you just it's just to have a little bit of space in between the body. Mm -hmm. And I put this bigger one to have space in for this nut over there, like that. And now, look how much more thread. And now, as before, now you have all this much, which is a lot more than what you had before. You had like this much, which is definitely Fucking not nothing. safe. Yeah, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, there's nothing. Here. That's definitely not safe, and you know, with so, the family yeah, driving yeah, this, and you can lock tie it. And yep, never come up. Blue lock tie, not red. Lock. Yeah, but even without the lock tie, I think it, it won't back out. No, it won't back out. Because we have Milwaukee strength. With Milwaukee this. strength. It's like having. That is done now. Now we're gonna full blast all the bolts into a block. Yes, baby. I think uh, that's it, bro. I think she's uh, had enough. it later like dude this is helping the rigidity of the car like this whole car is shaking with you grabbing that like a strong wilderness man you just put it all the way down and just tighten the top one and that's it can you pass me this year is a 17 yeah bottom is a 19 on the bottom okay it's done can you imagine doing this outside in the wind this is a 17 here. Yep. Allen. Doing what? Doing this outside in the wind. Oh, it'd be pretty interesting. It is windy outside still. Oh, yeah. But at least inside the unit, it's uh, blocking that wind. Holy Christ, Jesus. It's stiff, eh? Yeah. And you're not soft yet. Look. You've lost some weight. <laughs> All this is weight reduction. Right? Yeah, put it in a pail and let's measure. Uh, let's take the weight. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is the harness bar fully installed on the Mugen EL. Shout out to Singbelt for hooking us up with this. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, guys. Make sure you hit up Singbelt Parts on Instagram for all used parts and JDM parts and all that. And shout out to the homie. Holy shit, that was a zoom in, bro. I can see your blackheads. <laughs> Uh, no, for real though, shout out to my homie. But yeah, shout out to Diogo for always helping with the quick uh, clutch installs. Uh, it was definitely a two-man operation. A lot of elbow grease that we had to go into it. And it looks fantastic. Uh, I find that we have a lot more room to recline the seats than we do with the spooniest one. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, the bucket seats are a lot smaller than the Recaros. These? Yeah, they are smaller. Yeah. But... Uh, Nonetheless, the gunmetal complements everything well on it. Um, maybe later on in the week, I'll give it a nice cleanup. Got to clean up the interior. Uh, we're just adjusting the one bolt on the seat. 
Oh, I think Diogo already did that. No, I'm still gonna. Oh, he's gonna do that. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video, guys. Uh, this. Yep. Tighten this up. Tighten it. Oh my god. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we appreciate it. Appreciate all the support I've been getting on this channel uh, the past two years since I started been phenomenal the good the bad i love it all um also just released the camel just send it mesh snapbacks if you guys want hit me in the dms these things are fire i love it uh trying to get the merch game up here in canada going but uh really happy with this uh today's install uh it's another thing we can knock off the bucket list that we wanted to do on the mugen el I will think I'm <laughs> But uh, as always, um, guys, stay tuned. We got crazy content coming out. I know I say it every week, and Yoga will even attest. We got the case swap stuff happening very, very soon. Uh, weather's getting a lot better. Tracks already open. Yoga's gonna get a tune on this Mark IV at some point, and then we're gonna trailer it up to the track. And I'm gonna hook up two GoPros to it so we can get some in-car footage of him beating it on the track, and we're gonna have a good time. And we even probably take the Mugen El. On the track after his case swap and maybe that's maybe. that's a definitely yeah a definitely. but definitely when the spooniest one's resurrected we're gonna take it to the track this year for the first time and just you know baby steps take it easy not try to be a hero and uh just have great times so guys as always like comment subscribe just send it peace peace